Hey, what's up everyone, Osla here. So I've been doing a lot of tech videos lately and it seems to do really well on my channel, of course, compared to my subscribers count. And I really enjoy making tech videos too because the tech that I'm reviewing are mainly things that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. But still, I would like to talk a little bit about engineering content on this channel. So in this video, I wanna talk about why you should consider learning or understanding business to become a better developer. So once you get that first tech job, you might be looking to advance your career or your skills as a software developer by learning a new language or a framework Work, or you might be even thinking about uh, diving deep into machine learning or AI. At least trust me, I do that all the time. But most likely that won't be the thing that will benefit you the most. Of course, learning a new framework or knowing a new language would uh, help you run faster. But if you're running faster in the wrong direction, uh, it doesn't really make sense, right? But you need to learn something different. That's business. Working for a technology consulting company, I know that from my experience, uh, having the knowledge of uh, business and having those soft skills to close a business will take you so far ahead than actually knowing a new framework or language but at the end of the day you're not just writing code you're creating business value i know a lot of people take pride in the fact that they write code for anything and everything but if we actually take a step back and think about why we are actually writing the code it is to actually provide business value. So as software developers, we write code to provide some sort of business value. As developers, sometimes it's hard to quantify what sort of uh, value you're providing, especially if you're working for a large corporation or company. But just like uh, if you're a constructor, you build a building for a purpose, not just because you can or you want to. So just like that, as a software developer, you write code for a purpose, not just because you want to or you have to write code. And there are many benefits of you as a software developer understanding uh, how your company's business work, like motivation, communication, productivity, implementation, and the solution itself. I plan to keep this video super short, so I will give you a brief overview on all of these topics, how you as a software developer can create value. So let's start with motivation. So understanding the underlying object of what you're actually writing code for uh, will likely give you more motivation to actually do the thing. So let me give you an example. Let's say you have a work item to create a button and you need to add that button to a specific layout. And you as a developer, you only need to know uh, where the button should be, how the button should look like, and what action the button should perform once the user clicks on it. But if you actually understand the business and let's say uh, this button is going to be used by the end user as a salesperson or a service person to actually make a sales count or a service uh, appointment count, you have a better understanding of what this button is actually used for and thus you have more motivation to actually implement it or even uh, provide a better solution. Communication. So this is kind of self-explanatory. So let's go back to the previous example where you have a work item to work on and you're reading the description of your work item and you don't fully understand it or you don't fully grasp the, uh, what the requirements are asking for and your project manager asks you to blindly implement it. So in this scenario, if you actually know the business, you have two benefits. One, uh, you can actually question the requirements. Two, you can even propose a better solution, uh, which we will talk about very shortly. So now let's talk about productivity, one of the hot topics. So as a software developer, you need to make a lot of decisions on a day-to-day -day basis and it mainly comes down to two different things, when and what to implement and how to implement something. If you're working on a big project, usually the tasks are prioritized or categorized according to its priority and it's distributed among your team members. So once you actually start working on this prioritized task, you might uh, discover new edge cases or implications that might affect the overall design of the project and you might have to recategorize or reprioritize some of these tasks. So if you're a software developer who understands or knows the business, you might be able to catch these implications or edge cases early on and save lots of time for your project, uh, for your team members and for you. And this creates some sort of autonomy and autonomy leads to productivity. So now let's talk about the actual implementation itself. So as software developers, we all like to ship new features as opposed to maintaining existing ones, right? So on implementation, the key is to always balance between what's needed today versus what's needed in the future or how it will evolve in the future. So if you're someone who has a little bit of a domain expertise or business knowledge, you might be able to better translate the wants and needs of uh, projects into better business requirements. For example, let's say you're building a finance application. And if you're someone who has a little bit of accounting knowledge, you might know a certain variable would never be negative. And this might actually never make it into the requirement or the work item. So if you're someone who actually has the business knowledge or a little bit of domain expertise, you might be able to catch on this uh, specifics early on in the project rather than uh, later on when it's too hard to go back. And the last thing is the solution itself. We actually spoke a little bit about this early on. If you're 
you're someone who understands the business or the domain, you might be able to future-proof your solutions. You might be able to think about your solutions for the future rather than today or tomorrow's. And you might be even able to propose a better solution based on what you understand from your business or based on what you think your business will be requiring in the future. So at the end, you might be asking, how do you go about understanding your business or organization? I cannot give a one fit answer to all of you for this. Uh, it, it really depends on a business to business or organization. But however, uh, one thing you can do is change your perspective. Uh, instead of just building a requirement, you might you can start thinking uh, why you're actually building this. You can actually try to understand what your business does or what your company does, how they provide value to the customer. Understanding how the business work or getting the domain expertise will only do good for your software development career. Because if you plan to progress in your software development career, the more senior you get, the less code you write. Uh, you might want to go in a direction where you graduate into a role like technical architect, where you make technical decision, but you write less hands-on code. Or you might want to go in a different direction where you're actually the project lead, where you're actually required to understand business. So the more early on you're trying to learn the business side of things, it will only help you in the future in your software development journey. And that's been it. I hope you found this video helpful. And I've been dabbling making a lot of tech content and a little bit of software engineering content here and there. And I've been personally enjoying making a lot of tech videos. So subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And 90% of my new viewers are actually not subscribed to my channel. So subscribe if you haven't already. And if you have been, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you all next week. Peace.